Good day guys and welcome back. Today we're talking about the Shelly Pro 4PM Relay. This is the relay. It allows for you to control four different circuits and by four different circuits what I mean is one of those will connect to something like your switches which will control your lights or you can control other objects such as fans, power points, outdoor lights. So this device is installed on your switching board, on your mains, on the top side, and this is where your four circuits will exist. These four circuits will go into your home, into your normal devices, such as light fittings or power points. To control it, we've got Ethernet, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, 16 amps per channel per circuit. We're given power monitoring as well as voltage support, security and scripting abilities. This is what the rear looks like. It will tell us how much power is getting drawn, what is turned on. And there's inbuilt automations in the Shelly app. However, today we'll be installing it on Home Assistant. We'll be going through some of the initial configurations. And as we move through our series, we'll be doing automations and scheduling. Adding the Shelly 4PM Pro into Home Assistant, we're gonna to go to settings, devices and services, add integration and type in Shelly and left click on the Shelly icon. When prompted, we're gonna put in the IP of our device. Leaving port 80 and clicking submit. It's going to find a device and it's going to specify which area you want to put it in. Click finish and we can see we've got a device added. Let's click on it and rename it. We are going to click on the edit button and we are going to give it a useful name. So in my instance, this is my first device, so I'm going to type in Shelly Relay number one and click update. Do you want to rename the entity IDs? Yes, I do, so click rename. Next, let's go settings, integration, Shelly, and let's also rename this one. So let's go through and add all of our Shelly devices and we'll go through some more configuration. Now that we have all of our Shelly relays added, we are going to be changing our controls or our entity name and the entity ID. So let's pick a relay click on switch zero on the cog for settings and let's change the name or the entity ID ensuring it's in lowercase and ensure there's no spaces. So let's continue on 
and finish all of the controls and we'll go to the next segment. So that's pretty much all. We've installed the Shelly integrations, we've added devices, renamed our devices for ease of administration, as well as configured our controls for ease of administration as well. So going forward you can create your automations, set up your scenes and or scripts. Let me know what you're using it for. Is this a product that you would like to use? And I'll be adding automations and showing you in the new feature. Leave me a comment what you want to see and stay tuned.